to announcements of Senate interest. Uh, Senator Dibble. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, uh, Mr. President, members, and, uh, and to our staff and everyone who's listening. Um, you may have heard the, uh, the sad news um, that occurred um, just a few days ago. Uh, one of our beloved and longtime uh, Senate staffers, David Gross, uh, legislative assistant to Senator Eaton, um, left us. He was only 46 years old, 46 years young, and he worked with Senator Eaton from the very beginning when she came to us in a special election in 2011, replacing our, of course, beloved Senator Scheid. And um, they were also, uh, what you may not know, were very, very good friends. Senator Eaton and, and David Gross were very good friends from long before he came to work for her here. Um, I remember him as a very kind and very decent man, a very hard worker, with, uh, and Senator Eaton and I were chuckling before an uncommon level of energy, perpetual state of motion even when he was just sitting in a chair. Um, and I know that he was a very close collaborator and confidant of Senator Eaton's. We were talking yesterday and, uh, you know, like so many of us, we just think, you know, we just, you know, reach for that phone or that text uh, with our assistants to tell them something or ask them to do something and she still has that impulse and that's how close we become with our staff. Of course, he was a part of our Senate DFL caucus family. We are all very, very close and I know that our staff is extremely close and this came upon us, uh, came up, happened very, very suddenly so we're all kind of in a state of shock. Even though David had uh, tremendous health struggles over the years, it did not diminish in one iota his level of productivity or his energy or his contributions to our caucus, to the Senate, to Senator Eaton's work, of course, and to the people of Senate District 40. Um, he was the baby of the family. He had uh, a number of siblings. Um, his mom and his dad are still with us as well. His mom herself is just, is just coming out of the hospital and struggling with health problems herself. So we extend our, our deepest uh, sorrow and condolences and our love to David's family as well. Um, I wanted to share, um, Senator Herr shared some thoughts uh, and some beautiful pictures of them. Uh, of a, on a trip up to the Boundary Waters with Senator Herr, and he said, I met David on my first day, checking into my office at the Capitol in G4. He gave me the added strength to make important decisions. We became good friends, and I always tell all of my staff to learn from him. He became one of my crew to the Boundary Waters canoe area on a couple of trips. I will miss him greatly. I think some others wanted to share some memories of David as well. Senator Marty. Thank you, Mr. President. I too am honored to pay tribute to David Gross. Um, David, even before Senator Eaton, he had served here for Senator, former Senator John Dow as a staff person for four years. And I think Senator Dow said that, yeah, you couldn't find a more loyal person who cared more about others. And David is, is those who knew him, who was a very person of very few words. He was quiet, he was introspective. But he really cared about you. I think people would say he'd give you his shirt off his back if you needed it. He'd do anything for you. Intensely loyal. I think Senator Dahl actually said, you know, I, I think he, when you'd have angry constituents on something, he'd be one there to want to take the brunt of the attacks because he cared more about others than about himself. And I, I just want to say briefly that Despite his quiet demeanor, he was always around. I mean, you could see him late at night often working at the Capitol, always working hard, always caring for others. He was truly what you'd call a good, kind, decent, and caring person, a wonderful human being. And on Monday night, when we were saying goodbye, his office, he and Senator Eaton right next door, and. Um, as they were saying goodbye and I said goodbye, of course, none of us knew it was the last time we'd say goodbye. But David was a gem of a human being, the best you can be. And I just want to say goodbye, David. We'll miss you. Rest in peace. 
and I'd ask if we could have just a brief moment of silence. Uh, Senator Marty, we'll go to Senator Kent first, and then we'll do the, the moment of silence. Senator Kent. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, like so many, this has been a shocking loss um, and a sad time uh, in our caucus family and in the Minnesota Senate. Um, when I heard from uh, Senator Eaton, uh, and I knew how profound this loss is for her, I remembered um, when I was a brand new candidate in 2012 and Senator Eaton, who even though she'd only come into the Senate a year before, it seemed like she'd been here forever and was so well established. And uh, she came door knocking with me in my community and we got to know each other. And she was so positive and to, a, as, said, as I said, a new candidate, um, uh, you know, in a, in a tough race. And she was so sure that I was gonna get elected and she was giving me all these tips and she kept talking about David and how much he meant for her and how much he did for her and in giving that counsel. And that relationship was one of the first things I really knew about the Minnesota Senate. And so that is why this loss is extra hard. Um, <clears throat> When I think about David, uh, he really, to me, does represent so much of what makes the Minnesota Senate special and amazing. Um, it is these relationships um, that we all build with each other. It is the dedication to the work that we do that he embodied so strongly. It is that excellence, that commitment to the excellence, because what we do matters. And it is the deep care for the work that we do for Minnesotans. And David brought that with him quietly, as Senator Marty said, um, and under the radar often. But um, it was always there, always there. I just also want to share my deepest sympathies to Senator Eaton on her personal loss, um, and also to his family and many friends. And um, my thanks to everyone who has expressed their condolences to all of us who are experiencing this loss. Thank you. Members, uh, please rise for a moment of silence. Thank you, members.